yourself, friends, then do the hip go kick. But the higher they get, like granddad, he's going to leave everything open for you. He's going to say, I'm crap, like, come on, get me. Like, the higher you get, the more crappier you look. The more casual you look. So when people ask how I look, they say, look, you don't think that's cool, right? You're not doing splits or fly kicks or anything. But the higher, let's see, watch, so we line up. Here, here, line up. I'm lining up here, constant movement. Here. I'm actually cheating, I can't help you. I just go into the higher stuff anyway. There. Now this here is there. If I go to higher stuff, you let me. Grand dad can do it. He the only way how to do it. So use this. Hey, hey. Do you want every indication, this one here? What does it look like to you? That's hot. 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 Well, we were, we in our tradition, we were beers. Beer is death. So if you go for what? What? By the way, they do this. This is this is granddad. Right? This is granddad when he's wise. A wise granddad. So he's giving him a beer. Wrap. The problem with the beer, I put it. The problem with the beer is you grab a beer. So he's giving him a beer. As soon as he grabs it, we're going for it. As soon as anything comes, beer is only a problem if it stands off and I pull it down. That's a big problem, you're dead. But if you grab a beard and we go in with it, so while you're holding it, you know, I'm around here, I'm happy here. So they use this. And a lot of cultures in the West, Vikings, Persians, Indians, Jews are very, sounded like a lion's mane. Post got a fighting on the ground, biting. Imagine a hair in your food, what's going to happen to you? Uh, you choke on it. So here, this is very, those court in the old days, armor and chair mill, it's pretty common for them to get in close, move here, remove armor and chair mill, fight through. Switch on the ground and come. So we're looking at beers for trapping. Bag of color. Get two swords. Get a bag of color. I mean, I see this here, we're constantly misaligning. All you're going to do is misalign the edge and the point. That's only going to kill you, nothing else. Don't make big boomers. Edge there, there. A lot of people jump back. If you make too big a movement, they'll track you. So we're here. I see mental here. You see this here? Now I put my hand in. From here, I can say, sit down. Stand up. These are like fish. Problems they're causing mentality. It's a smaller version of his world life. Fill it up. As they come. 
They spray to their faces so the blood is going to work themselves. It is gruesome. You can kill so many, but you can scare millions. No psychology. So here we are. My dad, I see that he's coming in. So here, this is what we're doing. Now here, it's not going to, by the time they're coming in, my dad, here, this here, see this, it's far easier for me to manipulate now. There, here. My dad, here, you see this, like he's coming in, look what you, all they avoid is the edge. Right here. My dad, what are you going to do? There. It's a fight, it's a small angle that matters. In small movements lies the greatest benefit. The bigger you do it, the worse you will be like. Straight in there, bang. By the time they move in, we don't want to kill them. Too beautiful. As they all come. Here, mentality. See this here, 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 mentality, here, this here. Oh, that's just coming here. It's coming. Watch. That thrust here, watch my hand. You thrust with it. Watch your hand up there. That hand is here now. You think, like here. Looks like thrust. Even why I know that that can be that much. The point will come as he comes in here. Well, of course, here's the timing. You mess up, you're dead. So just, like here, yeah, that's gone. Like here, I'm now. He pulls the hand away. That's what these are for. What I'm doing is, watch, the center of gravity. This is butterfly wing. So butterfly is very light, so it moves very light. It's always flickering. As soon as the wind hits it, it moves. So it's all this kind of movement here. It's always there. So as they come in together, all there. So the butterfly is coming in. It's going to move across here, here, move across here, this here. Movements are always like a butterfly. So light that this movement, like anything behind what a movement here. Yeah, by the time second one comes, then we're there. And the further distance I make, can you see that guy's there? From here, I'll judge how far he's behind me. If I, if I judge him to be too far away to be engaging me, I can turn my back to him. And I'll encapsulate him in the mind of my eye. So I'll be measuring him, how far he's behind me. I'll judge. So, on. so I'm here. Then when he comes at me, I can tell where he is. And I will do partially with my head turn. The closer he gets to me, a slight turn of it. But not enough to give him the impression I know he's coming. I turn to a point where I can now, as he comes at me, wait, I can I'll turn my eye. Everything we do is deceiving. When he comes in. I'm at the mall, I'm looking at granddad's looking down there. Granddad's bed back. But this one doesn't look much. Be attacked. Be attacked. Here, here. This hand here. As soon as anybody comes from behind. Right now. Oh, 
the old man alone. That's all it is. It's a little laugh. Is you front? You got like that tall, young man? Thank you, uh, Let me get the here. when you're gonna show off to the rest of them. You are gonna do or die. So the stand die. Yeah. Yeah, very powerful. Footwork is like this, but angles quick. You're not going to have clear cut, open, smooth place. You're going to have dead bodies. Oh, man. These guys are dead now. These are the, those are the enemies. Get closer, like they're all piled up on you. You're dead. All right, you lie down as well. All right, watch, watch. Now, the enemy is there, like, this footwork is designed. As they come, you're moving through here. See, I'm moving through here. Bang, here. This here is moving through here. In reality, I'll be going through. That's how it's picking through. So it's picking through. In reality, they go on the floor, I will stamp on their throats and heads just to make sure they're dead, unless they're on my side of the floor. I'm going to make sure they're gone. From here. If there's someone there, I just sit down. So, like, watch, I'm here now. And uh, this is here. As it comes, you see that one, see angle cutting here. There's a shield in the way. See this one again, this is coming through here. That man. See what was this is coming through. That's where the hands are here. He's behind me. So on. As he comes in here, the elbows are used. So on. A lot quicker. Can you guys get up now? You're asleep now, I tell you. They're going to go to sleep now. So that's where the footwork is like this. This one here. So back here, you can go and do shun, the void. Void is like this. Like completely vacant. You like no emotion, no nothing. There. And they'll do this while they're reading a book. What they're doing. The idea is to do it so your mind is somewhere else. If you can do that, I mean, if you engage your mind, say in a book. Or in poetry, where are they all doing? They all do this. For instance, like verses, they'll, I'll give you a start. Let's say, put down what you have to find. This one here, watch. Go back here, say this one's coming in. They'll just turn. That's why this is. It's so detached. By the time he strikes, this is moving between the spaces. Void, creating space within space. You move through so on. And the closer they get, the more the swing, the more chance of them be deflecting them onto each other as well. So I want to bring them together. Let them kill each other. That's the mentality. But this one here, you hear a sword. Boom, boom. See, that's out of range, I know it, so I'm not going to go with it. So see, step, the attacks. That there, the edge is off, I know it. 
one here will tip that bit on me as it comes. Now, so you may scratch. You cannot go around clashing your swords into armor, chainmail, or shields. Let me get my shield up. Let me show you. That's a big one. Now, in a bar field where projectiles have been used, the most common Indian combination in a bar field for the post quarter fighting is a shield and a dagger. Like a, what we call it, haggard sin. It's not that small. It's very small. So what we have now is a bit to cut, stab, with this, to bludgeon. Because sometimes they have too much heavy armor so we bludgeon them. There's one with spikes on them as well. So this one here is a very powerful combination. I can have a bit less skill than that. I can actually just crash through them if I'm that inclined. Not the best thing to do though. Because always, Train like an old man. Always train, they say, as if you are naked. Even if you've got armor and chain with them, always train as if you haven't got. The best warriors are those who come from the battlefield, and even got armor and chain with no scratch on them. The ones who keep them like, on there, you stand there and get smashed up. They're going to have to cause problems. Here, mentality. So we're doing this here, this here. You see this, this one coming, this combination now is there now. Watch, he's there. He's there. What I'm doing is I'm filling the pressure of the shield. The shield will rise, not like this. The shield's going to rise like this. Like a cobra. And he'll do this. He'll move. He'll sway in it.